Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Blue Star Defense 5 Deluxe Edition. This will be a special episode where I go to sandbox mode and try out some towers. Um, so I asked people for suggestions on what I should try and all that. Um, and I actually got some suggestions. But then I didn't really do anything with it for a while. But, alright, so I'm going to try the glue gunner. Put him about there. Um, so with his max 4-2 upgrade, so that's four tiers on the left side and two tiers on the right side. Uh, he pop blo pops blooms once before gluing and contains a super strong dissolving glue that pops blooms ten times every second. So let's see one rainbow bloom. And that is pretty fast. Two, four, so let's just send out a nice little stream I'm not holding down the button, I'm just kind of pressing it every couple, well, a couple times a second, I guess. And he can keep up with that pretty well, but if I just held it down, then he's not going to be able to keep up with that. Although, because of the track, he might be able to, no, it's just going to catch up there. Okay, so, obviously, there's no round in the game where you're going to have to go up against that. But he did pretty good. Um, that was pretty decent. Uh, so I'm just going to wait for it to go away, and then sell that one. Now we're going to try the 2-4. So, oh, actually I still need more experience to unlock that. Um, but it doesn't really make a difference, because that's just his glue strike ability that glues all the balloons on the screen. It doesn't actually increase his efficiency, it only gives him that ability. Uh, as far as I know, I might be wrong. Um, so it's on one. He only has the regular corrosive glue, so I'm pretty sure it'll be able to pop it. But the glue might not last long enough to pop all of them. Oh, but it does. Now it does shoot out the glue, the glue much faster than the other one. So if I just hold it, then it's able to pop everything. So obviously that works better than the four two but only because of the long streams. It does last a lot longer, so let's see if I put on regenerating. Now, <laughs> the thing about regenerating, well, we'll wait for this to disappear, or to pop, but one regenerating, which means that it pops down to two blooms, then some of them regenerate once, so then they keep regenerating, and because it's popping down into multiple blooms, I'm ending up making more blooms than I'm popping. And then, of course, a bunch get through. So if I was just to start throwing in a bunch of these, then it can get to a lot of blooms that just stack up really fast. Let's see if I can make the game lag. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be trying to make the game lag, it's just that this isn't going to end well. <laughs> There's just going to be a whole bunch, and then, let's see, just for the fun of it, Let's throw in some Glaive Lords. And now it's lagging. Okay. I'm just going to stop the recording for a second and let it clear. Okay, so the game actually kind of froze. Like, <laughs> it just stopped. There was so many balloons on the screen. Um, so don't do that. <laughs> unless, you're, unless you're willing to go to Task Manager and turn off the balloon start events on your own. So, the next thing we're going to try is the Ice Tower and no regenerating. Um, it's gonna throw in a couple rainbow blooms. Now, see, there's the problem. It it can't get through that layer uh, of the zebra bloom. So just to see, um, actually no, not that. Uh, not all the way. Just use the monkey intelligence so that it is able to pop through those blooms. Actually, that... Hmm, that's interesting. It's supposed to be able to pop all bloom types, but it didn't. Or at least not zebra bloom. Let's just try once more. And no, that's interesting. So I guess that doesn't work. Uh, you'd have to use it on something that's uh, lower than a zebra bloom. But let's try the, oh, well, uh, 2 4, or really the 2 3, because again, absolute zero freezes the entire screen of balloons for 4 seconds. Does not affect more class balloons. Um, again, that only upgrades its ability, so it doesn't actually make it any stronger, I guess. 
And again, oops, that was the wrong one. Um, if you just pop it, it's gonna be the same thing, I guess. Uh, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to make them appear really close to each other so that it can. Uh, huh. Okay, this is strange. Um, creates razor sharp pieces of ice on frozen balloons that, when popped, fly out and pop more more nearby balloons. So I thought that was going to mean that, you know, it'll pop and pop others. But I guess you need something else to pop the frozen balloons for it to work. So ice towers are definitely not good on their own. Uh, yeah, clearly. <laughs> um, then let's try the 4-2. So the arctic, arctic wind and the viral frost. Balloons are frozen so cold that they freeze other balloons that come in contact with them, spreading the freeze like a virus. So clearly we can't do anything stronger than a zebra balloon, and that's interesting because it has the radius that will freeze, or that will slow it down, but it won't actually freeze them yet until the others get close. Um, and as you can see, it'll freeze these on top, and then, the, like I said, it'll just spread like a virus. And again, these are not something... These are are not towers you want to use against regenerating balloons. I'm not even going to try it, because uh, I already know it's going to multiply the same way that the glue gunner made it multiply. So, you can see here that it passes through a little bit, so that's why it's slowing down, but then it's only getting within range here for it to actually send out the shock wave or freeze wave that um, actually pops it and all that. So those are the two uh, types of Oh, those are the two things that we are testing. Uh, clearly the glue gunner is the winner as far as um, popping everything because uh, it couldn't get through the zebra balloon. Although now I want to try on the ceramic. Um, give it that one. Because the ceramic is specifically good against the glue gunner because it has so many more layers. Now, as you can tell, uh, just with the 4-2, it has such a great um, popping rate, I guess, that it'll just destroy the ceramic balloon um, much better than a 2-3, which I will show now. Because just one, it takes so long to get through that ceramic layer, and the ceramic layer doesn't get slowed down. So, see, it doesn't even pop it at the end of it. Now, if we were to combine it, with the ice tower. Let's see if we can get one. Because now it's going slower. A little bit. Because of the ice tower. And then here it'll the ice will pop it one layer. And then now the glue will get through. So now that will be helpful. Um so that worked, I guess. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. Alright. Let's try just a couple fives. A couple pink. Um, that actually was not a good idea. <laughs> or was not what I meant to do. Let's try a couple of these. Because I want to see the razor shards. Which means that the um, the ice tower has to actually freeze it. And then have the glue gunner pop it with its glue. And let's see. No, they're not even making it that far. Okay. Um, dude, I should just use the ceramic. Then. What am I doing? Okay, so, I'm, oh wait, that's the wrong button. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Now the glue gunner will glue it, so that when the ice tower freezes it, hopefully, when it gets through one layer, there we go. Now the ice will make shards and pop others. But, especially if you're going to use ice towers and glue gunners on their own, it would be better to get multiple of the 4-2, which is really expensive, um, is 12,000, so then this sells for 15,000, which means it's going to cost, like, about 2,000. I mean, 20,000, <laughs> not 2,000. So they're really expensive, the balloon liquefiers. But if you had, well, let's see. Uh, I'm going to put down 5. Uh, what's the hotkey? Yes. Okay. That was 6 because I put down more than I meant to. Okay. 
So once we upgrade all these to 4-2, upgrade them to the 4-2 upgrade ability. Oops. <laughs> okay. So now let's just try a bunch of zebra. They're not getting through very far because uh, having two or three will uh, increase their attack rate basically overall, not their individual attack rate. So that's good. Now let's try with ceramic. Same thing should happen. Um, because I have so many, they'll be able to pop all of them because they'll be able to glue all of them. If, of course, like I already showed you, if there's just one, then it's not fa firing fast enough. And then the only problem I have with the glue gunner is that it doesn't do anything to Moabs. Like, that would be so great if they could pop through Moabs, but unfortunately they do not. Let's just throw Super Monkey in, just for the heck of it. And that does nothing. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Um, leave comments down below for what towers you want me to test and with how many balloons and all that stuff. Even on different stages if you want. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.